Come on, y'all. Please touch my like thing and subscribe, you majestic bastards. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, Cap Cut of RC. Welcome back to another Sunrise Sunday. Today we got the MT-8 out. We're at the spot over here with the big old gravel jumps. Gonna try and get some nice, really big air with this thing. Now, you're gonna see something in this video. I'm still running the plastic caster hubs in the front. Partway through this video, you're gonna see one of them break. And I went ahead and I finally installed the Red Cat Kaiju aluminum caster box. Hopefully, I'm not gonna have any more of these breakages. Uh, I'm starting to have more plastic breakages because we're starting to get into the winter. Uh, I come out early in the morning and we're getting below 60, 55 degrees. Shoot, right now this morning it's 48, 49 degrees, still a little cold, but sun's out. And see the sun's rising. It's starting to warm up. So hopefully we'll be in the 50s here soon before I once I get this all fired up. Because it's it's getting warm on my back. Not hot, but nice and warm, and it feels good in this cold weather. That's going to be the update. That's all it is. Anybody who's new to the channel, it's a Rival MT8, Max 8, Corrali Kiron 825 2050 KV motor, running Ova, Ovonic 6S 5200 mAh uh, milliamp hour batteries, uh, the 50C di discharge, IC5s, RPM arms, uh, Arma internals in the shocks. Red Cat front hubs, Red Cat rear hubs, Red Cat Kaiju plus 10 millimeter extensions, and my own homemade custom carbon fiber center brace. Oh, and can't forget the Trio Servo Saver. This is for a, 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 a Lozy LMT. Or, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Apologize, apologize. The servo is for a, an axial rift. Make sure you get the Rift one if you do this modification because the Rift servo sits lower. The Lozy or the other axial LMT, SMT, it sits higher. So you want this to sit lower to have the low profile so your steering bar doesn't rub on your mount. And once you do that, you remove the spring, glue those bell crank pieces together, and you're good to go. Oh yeah, and of course, Red Cat Wing, Red Cat Willy Bar, Red Cat Mount, no, Red Cat. A uh, bunch of Red Cat parts make this thing real reliable. All right, y'all, let me get this plugged in, put the wheel back on, and hit some jumps. Stay tuned, y'all. What do you think, y'all? Should I try it? The MTA don't care, you guys. Whee!
Yep, came unplugged. <laughs> Did that double. Yep, that did it. Broke that front hub real good now, didn't I? <laughs> oh, I knew that was about to happen. Ah. Oh well. All right, y'all, let's do some light jumps first. Now that we got the caster box on it. Bad hit. Dang it. Oh, I got lucky, y'all.
little reckless. James, you gotta go faster, bro. Need more speed with that. Shit. Alright y'all, so what appears to have happened, the hub is fine, you guys can see, hub's fine, nothing's wrong with that, the problem is, I stripped, you probably can't see it, I stripped this hinge pin bolt, or the suspension block bolt, whatever the hell it's damn called, I stripped it, it came out, and then it bent. And when it came out, it overextended and spit up the drive shaft. So I didn't break anything major. Hell, I could probably straighten this and get back to bashing. But I've got quite a bit of footage. This battery's almost dead anyways. This car survived, I mean, an immense amount of abuse out here. I'm out here giving this damn car a hell, and this is it. Well, one of those and one of these had to put these had to put the metal ones on but hell those plastic ones it may, it may have already broken during today's little session all right y'all so what y'all think all right mta finally get some good aluminum hub upgrades it needed it i knew i was going to have to do it for winter and shoot winter's right around the corner y'all so had to do it but unfortunately I do got to find better quality of these. One, one thing to consider, right? Here, here's one thing to consider. Associated doesn't use the best hardware. They really don't. Their hardware strips easy. It's pretty soft. So to be honest with you guys, it's probably a combination of putting this rigid hub in a plastic one that meant this and stripped it. So uh, I'll be able to get some nice 12.9s at my hardware store. If not, I'll be able to order them. And then after that, put it back together and get bashing. So if you all enjoyed the video, be, do me a favor. Push that like button. Please touch my like thing, y'all. And subscribe, you majestic bastards. I love each and every one of you. Have a great week. Have a blessed week. And I'll catch each and every one of you majestic bastards back on another Sunrise Sunday. Captain Kudu, over and all, y'all. Peace.